Yo! So, we finished week two of prep. So, if you've been following this, obviously, I'm sorry for the shakiness. I'm driving and I don't have one of those fancy schmancy, uh, what do they call those things? To smooth out the motion. I'll see if I can use YouTube to level it out a little bit. But anyway, um, finished week two of prep. I started at 197 and a half. As of this morning, I'm down to 189. So that's eight and a half pounds down in about, as I mentioned previously, I kind of started a slight prep before the prep. So eight and a half pounds down over two and a half weeks. Um, the weight drop has slowed dramatically uh, at this point where I think this week I dropped me like a pound, pound and a half. That's where we want to be. Um, the first, you know, first couple pounds we wanted to get off quick, but now we're going to try to average out about a pound a week for the rest of the prep. <clears throat> so, as I mentioned, I'm 189. I am significantly leaner, just with the 8-pound loss. I'm looking grainier, I'm looking more vascular. My quads are already starting to come through, which is good for me because usually my legs are the last things to come through. Um when I'm getting ready for prep, as I've mentioned you know, on my previous ones, my legs are always concerned in terms of conditioning. Uh, I just don't know why my, they just hold fat longer than the rest of my body. So, <clears throat> the good thing is, I have not done any cardio yet. I'm sure it's going to start coming soon enough. But, the longer I can go without it, the better. As you know me, I'm team no cardio. I hate it. I hate doing it. Um, it's just not my type of thing. But right now I'm sitting around 245 grams of carbs, 220 grams of protein, and 55 grams of fat, and it's working. Uh, I think taking the long off season, uh, really working on my reverse into my lean bulk, did great work for my body in terms of not putting on a bunch of body fat on the way up. And I think it also helped increase my metabolic capacity a little bit, which is allowing me to get weight off. Um, while still consuming more calories than I'm used to in prep. So this is kind of exciting to see where this is gonna go. Um, I'm also kind of seeing, curious to see where my final stage weight's gonna be. I'm not worried about the scale, I'm more worried about what I look like. But I'm really hoping, like I said earlier in, in my earlier videos, um, high 170s. I, I, I would love to see that, because that means I put on a lot of quality muscle over the past three years. Um, while I've been in my off season. So, we'll see. But I'm not gonna obsess over it. In terms of how I feel, I actually, um, I feel pretty crappy, but <laughs> it's not because of prep. Uh, obviously, there's something going around. As you can tell, my voice is not completely normal. Uh, whatever head congestion I have is passing, but now I still have like this nagging little cough, which is leading to a little bit of a, uh, a loss of voice laryngitis type a deal. So, I mean, it's not really interfering with my training, it's just annoying because I hate being congested and talking is part of what I do, so not having a voice or not having my voice at full capacity kind of sucks. Um, in terms of my training, I'm kind of enjoying it. Uh, the leg press to squat maneuver seems to be working very, very well for my hips, my knees, and my low back. And maybe one of these sessions I'll record it. Um, I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit more upright in my position. And I think that's because now the my hips and my knees have been stretched a little bit, which helps with my mobility. But I also feel like my glutes are getting more activation, which is good. I was actually able to get up to a 270 pound squat for four sets of eight, which I've never been able to do before. Once I start usually approaching 275, if I get to five reps, that's usually pretty good for me. Um, as mentioned, I'm not a great squatter. It's a movement that's never really been um, phenomenal for me. And I do it because it's a great overall body exercise. But I also try to make sure that I'm not damaging my joints doing it. So I try to do it in a weight that I'm comfortable with, um, where it's not causing me excruciating pain and then I can't move or train. So. So far, I mean, I, I can't really complain. Um, I'm hoping the rest of my prep, as it gets, you know, as it gets further along, it's never going to be easy. But I'm just hoping it's not going to be as brutal as it was before. Um, I'm stress-free for once. Some good things are starting to happen for me. 
Um, I'm pursuing some passions of mine, which are really starting to pan out. I have a feeling some life changes are going to be occurring soon, which I'll, I'll talk about. But until everything kind of gets settled, I don't really want to start talking about it until I'm there. Uh, I'm kind of like superstitious that way. <laughs> I don't know why, but I am. Um, and it's also hard, you know, this is the one thing I have, and, and this is part of the reason why with YouTube, I'm so hit or miss. Um, it becomes very stressful for me because I start watching other channels and I look at their videography, their their thumbnails, their music, everything they tie in. And I don't really have that same sort of passion for editing like they do. And I feel like I can't give you the same type of quality. Uh, so therefore I start getting very discouraged about it. It starts giving me like anxiety almost. Um, and then I feel like I have to write out every video, um, what topic is it's going to be about, way more planning that I really want to get involved in. So my philosophy is this, I'm just going to shoot video um, and I'm going to do my best to just put it up. I'm not going to worry about all the editing anymore, uh, buying software packages, computers that can handle it, 97 memory cards, spending thousands of dollars on cameras. I'm just gonna shoot off my phone, uh, whatever I feel like shooting. Actually, I just got the Google Pixel 2, so maybe this will improve the picture quality a little bit. Um, but I'm not, I'm just not that guy. I'm never gonna be that guy, I don't think. However, if there's somebody out there who watches this video and would like to help me build my channel, and we can somehow work out some deal uh, financially based on the revenue or whatever that I make off of YouTube, um, Maybe we could do it that way, where I just shoot the video, give it to the person, they edit it, repackage it until I'm happy with it, and then you know post it. Or if somebody wants to work something out where they basically become a film crew for me, uh, I would love to show you more of my day to day, especially like with my training, my nutrition, what I'm eating. Not that it's anything special, but I know everybody likes to see that. I think it would be interesting. I mean. The one thing I've always said is, you know, when, when I watch these documentaries about Bigger, Faster, Stronger, or, or The Strongmen, or Generation Iron 2, it does cover the lifting, fitness, um, bodybuilding world, but I think the gap that is still out there is somebody really doing a documentary on natural bodybuilding. I don't know what interest that would draw, to be honest. Um, because everybody wants these mass monsters who are 250 pounds and huge, but I think it would be good for everybody out there to see what's actually possible naturally. I mean, truly naturally, which means I'm not saying I'm natural. I'm taking tests, or I'm not saying I'm natural. I'm taking Anavar, or I'm not, you know, truly natural, which means I'm following the natural bodybuilding guidelines, possibly even to the point of WADA, and going from there and documenting it every step of the way to see how from person to person what they need to do to maximize their results. Um, whether they follow flexible dieting, whether they follow more of a bro style, whether they follow a single body part split, whether they're doing somebody who's more of a linear periodization or an undulating periodization, um, I think it would be cool. So if anybody's out there for the challenge, I would love to you know put something together where we could do like an hour and a half to two hour documentary Show, showcasing natural bodybuilding. Just a thought, if anybody's up for it, uh, feel free to leave comment section in, in the comment section below. I think it'd be really, really cool. Uh, it's never been done. So I'm gonna keep documenting each each week, I'll tell you my weight, my status, eventually I'll start putting up progress pictures, things like that. Actually, I have some that I'll, I have one that I'll probably blend into this um, and show you my entire cut all the way down again until I get back on stage as a pro. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.